Yes, I can tell you because he's giving me that silly look. Okay, so here we are today, and today we will be actually unboxing, and we're unboxing the work of an artist, Lisette Severi. Lisette Severi is an extraordinarily talented um, ceramic artist from Quebec, and we initially showed Lisette in 2011 for Matter of Clay 3. Yes. Matter of Clay 3, and her work is extraordinary. It really, really is quite wonderful. This piece is a vintage piece. Historical. Historical. Vintage, historical. But look at the, the detailing, the carving in the porcelain, and what's really remarkable is that this piece, with all of this fragility of flowers, is in flawless condition and a mere bagatelle at $700. Anyway, um, before I also get, to, speaking of Celadon, many of you may remember last week we opened up the work of Bruce Cochran in which there were two little um, juicers, which these juicers are absolutely incredible. They really are wonderful. And um, I snafu'd one. This one is going off to Mira in BC, but we called, um, Bruce to ask him to make some more. He's doing another dozen for us. Well, he's and working on our, his show for us in August. While well, he's working on his show in August. And um, what's really cool is that of the 12 that will be coming, uh, nine of them are already spoken for. As a matter of fact, Nancy, you've just uh, been, uh, just, yes. And I, you know, it's really cool. So Nancy's here to watch the unpacking of, uh, of Lisette's work, which will be really interesting uh, because it's all historical work. Well, it's not just that it. What, what does that have to do with Nancy being historical? I don't know. No, what it has to do. <laughs> I mean, is Nancy our historical artist? No, she's young. She's young. <laughs> no, what, what's interesting and the reason. And pray tell, tell us why. Is that I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why because Lisette was also a fiber artist. Ah, oh, And perfect. she also. Wonderful did um, paper making. And Na you've done, done paper making? So, so Nancy has done paper making. So is Anne Mortimer. And, and, and Anne she Mortimer, was a fiber actually, artist. Actually, Anne, She's Anne, watching. Anne, a fiber artist. So uh, we've got um, Anne, Nancy. Now what's really interesting is that Nan uh, Anne Mortimer, she was a fiber artist who moved from smocking into ceramics, but also did paper work, and actually incorporated paper on her ceramics. Did you ever do ceramics? Only in high school. Only in high school. So I mean that's Lisette got interested doing it back there and she was connected to Jacques Garnier and uh, different people like that. But what's cool is that you decided to stay in fiber. Yeah. Well it kind of decided for me. It decided for, what, what do you mean it decided for? There's, there's the, the draw was too big. They always had to have a needle in the A lot of ceramic so. artists, they say, as soon as they put their hands in the clay, they knew yeah. that that yeah, was their actually, medium. When, uh, when Walter, because he was, he was in graphic arts, and you did graphic arts. I did. Yeah. Marianne Fisher, same. She was... Yeah. And so what was interesting was that um, Walter was going to give up. He, and then it was Luke Lindo, of course, who, um, and, and Anne just decided that her kids weren't going to be too keen on smocking. What? Actually, when we had her show, we had uh, some of her smocks. Yeah. Well, this is interesting. Okay, so, oh. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, she's been she's been doing this for fifty one years. She probably knows what she's doing by now. <clears throat> oh, <shit. clears throat> Trying to hold the video steady so no one complains. Oh, the only one that complained would be me. Oops. Okay, so here we are. So we are petit fleur. No, petit fruit. Rouge and Bourgeons. I don't know what the hell Bourgeons are. We have price lists and we will putting we were putting these pieces up on the website as soon as I get around to it. <laughs> well hopefully that'll be relatively soon. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, I don't know 
why is she? Okay. okay. Oh, this is so light. Okay. Do you remember any of the prices as I open these things? Um, no. Yeah. And I don't want to guess. No, of course not. Uh, I have an idea. Well. Oh, pictures. Which I think you just sliced through the price list. Did I really? No, I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. But I... God knows I feel like I'm going to slice through something here. That's one, number one or two? This is number... Okay, so those are $500 each, and they were made in 2012. These are $500, or there's two in here? They, they're $500 each, one in number one and two. All right. You think you'd get better at this by now. I know. <laughs> and of course, like, like clockwork. That must be the mail. <laughs> Fiona strikes again. Whoops. Anyway, folks. And she just realized the door wasn't locked. See, we've got Nancy here as our, our helper. She's my, like, you know, Guermo and Jimmy Kimmel? Nancy's my Guermo. I shouldn't have. Whoops. Okay. This looks like, you know who would like this? Rita, down in Thank you. the States. Brian, pay attention. I am paying attention. Other. I'm focused. You're How not, about you yeah, focus? You're focused on the mail. Yeah, I am. Oh, look at this. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. So this is Bourgeon. What the hell is a Bourgeon? Whatever that is. <laughs> it's obviously a word that I, this is done in 2012. The end. There we go, folks. This is all work from Lisette's personal collection. Yes. That is stunning. After 50 years. And there um, is more work coming eventually. Yeah. So. Actually, I was talking to... Uh, wow. Isn't that pretty? I was talking to Anne yesterday, and she was telling people that this is how she keeps track of who's what. What's happening in Canadian clay? Canadian clay. Okay. Actually, anybody who... What's the name of the guy that has that wonderful website, that historical one? Barry Morrison. Barry Morrison. He has... Anybody who wants to check out some historical... Studio Ceramics Canada or something like yeah. that. Yeah. He's great. He's got a wonderful, wonderful... A wonderful site. And he has dedicated... A lot of time. Oh, Jesus. So this one's 500 as well. So that tape here, I think that she's gone to the Jillian School of Rapping. Jillian's watching as well. Oh, hi, Jillian. Did you uh, coach Lisette on the amount of tape to use? Hmm. We're working on an exhibition of Lisette's work coming up soon. Oh, we are? Thank you. It's a book launch, and all Ooh. the pieces from the book will be here. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. This is... What are they? This is... Um, Petit Fruit Rouge. These are little red fruits. <laughs> yeah. I guess that makes you and I little white fruits. <laughs> That's totally inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And they're all one of a kind works. There, finally Nancy knew why we brought her in. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome. At some point there will be after COVID. Let's uh openings? Book like launch. new live openings? Yeah. They're just, they're just wondering about the wine. What number is that one? 
which book? I, oh, that's a good question. The sec well, if those are one and two, what are the odds of this being three? You never know. That's true. See them? This is the top. Heck? Number six. Number six. So much for one, two, and three. So number six is from 2016, and it is 1500. Okay. Is this the lamp? No. I, I don't know. You're not supposed to know what's in there. Well, I, I, you told me that there was I a know. lamp. Oh, God. <sighs> I wonder how often this bubble wrap's been used. So don't I find it interesting that Nancy essentially did the same things that Lisette did, the same things that Anne did, and you stayed with fiber, they went on to ceramics. Even paper making didn't do it? Um, I enjoyed paper making. If well, going to the book art, it would be, you know, pop up. Be careful that this is part of it, I think. Yeah. That's part of it? Yeah. I thought, no, that's the box. It hangs on the wall, I think. No, I think this comes out, Brian. No, it's... Oh, shit. I almost sliced through the actual thing. Yeah. I didn't. Watch. Does it have hanging mechanisms on the back? What? Does it have hanging mechanisms on the back? Yes, it, yes does. it does. Oh my God, was that ever lucky? I think someone's paying attention. Yeah, isn't that amazing? And that's bronze. That's bronze, and the nest is porcelain, and uh, a mere bag of towel at fifteen hundred. That's stunning. How heavy is it? It's not very heavy at all. Shall we hang it on the wall and see how it looks? Yeah, sure, we can hang it on the wall. Or do you want me to hang it? Because you don't I know think how. That's a good idea. No, I... <laughs> it's been so long. I know. Family. <laughs> that's an inside joke. Oh my God! This looks wonderful on the wall, folks. I'll fix the wire so it doesn't show either. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. Oh shit, this is. That's beautiful. That's only 1500 mm -hmm. Do you know what? I don't think you could have it cast for that now. Oh, it was only four, four or five years ago. No, but ca um, casting has gone way up. Okay. Don't you think it would look great in somebody's home that has a lot of gardens? Yeah, who's that? Big windows with trees. Yeah. You two want to talk while I figure this out? Sure. It's more, fun to, it's more fun to watch you figure it out. Eh? What the hell? She's got a top on top of the box. I know she's got a top on top of the box, but it yeah. isn't. Do you want me to hold this? After almost slicing through the other, okay, I'm 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 good to go now. Good. <sighs> um, right. what I would do is I would slice down. Well, let's see. After almost slicing no, no. through the slice one. down here so that these open up. No, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. No. <laughs> There's stuff in the box we're opening? Well, I mean, it's not just, uh... Nancy, do you want to... Maybe if I slice down... <laughs> well, I thought it's such a nice box. No, no, slice down so the flaps fold down. Oh! I thought you moved. You know, this is really great about my... You can use $10 words, but you can't open a box. 
Ashley, I've got to get a new set of $10 words. I'm getting tired of Bagatelle. <laughs> Exceptional and extraordinary, and or also ooh, this one first. Well, and straight from eBay. Okay, now. What number? Number. Well, I think this might be the lamp. It just says talk. She probably knows that you'll be able to determine that it's a lamp when we see it. There might be more than one lamp. There might be, but there's, didn't you sh say that it was tall? Hmm. This is a lamp. Put it on the floor and pull it out that way. Well, just sec, hold it. I swear, Jillian taught this one. She's always packed like that. Well, at least it arrived in one piece. Yes. Have we lost anybody yet? No, they're all holding on. They're all holding on. Okay. They all like to see you struggle. You have to see me struggle. <laughs> nice Weldon's struggling. Take the foam out first. Oh, this is pretty wow. cool. This is pretty cool. This is pretty heavy. It's number four. That one's 2600, and it's the Grand Bleu. Okay, 2600. In and case there's anybody watching. If you put it here. Oh, we're going to see this lit? Well, how are we going to sell it to people that saw it? Does it have a light bulb in it? It does. It does. It's one of those light bulbs that's shaped like a... Okay. All right, Brian, I got it. You know, you're, you're showing the top of the table again. Yeah, with the lamp on it. Yeah, we'll this conversation. Okay. Okay. Just a sec. I'm going to turn... Do you want to turn I just turned these off. Okay. Yeah, that worked. Anyway. Maybe it's a tri light. This set? No, it's not a tri light. So we're going to do the rest of the video in the dark? No, I just want them to see the light. See the light. There. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. That really is quite lovely. I can just see that in a, in a foyer, so you just want a little bit of a night light, or in the hall when you're getting up for your midnight tea. You want this one? Right? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. This feels like... Okay, yeah. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you can see, folks, you can see the throw lines. So she's throwing, throwing, and throw it. And it was done. I love the wire that she's used. Yeah, when was it done? In 2008. Wire. Yeah, look at the Coffee. detail. Look at the details. Yeah, I think that's it's twisted. Yeah. Oh. Like you. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy, do you want to pull, please? Wow. Oh, not yet. Ah, yeah, okay. Ooh. This one is from 1985, uh, number five. 2,500. 2,500. She put the prices on. Yeah. I noticed that. Hmm. This is also nice. Um, oh. 
Hey, so I play for buys this lives in town. I'm gonna go through this again. Well, you won't be unpacking it. Eh? Oh, that's true. <laughs> You'll just be wrapping it. That's true. Okay, folks. What up? Oh. This must. Wow. This that's is gorgeous. That's a vase. It is. And that's bronze. Yeah, this is bronze, folks. Made by her. Made by her too, folks. And there we have. Look at the look at the relief. The relief. Oh my God! Well, see, see the, the little. Look over here. See the little. Yes. That is gorgeous. You see the little diamond things? Oh, I love that. Wow. That is so beautiful, and it's. Wow. And I love the fact that she's got a frog on top. That's beautiful. Put it. What? Put it on there. Please. Oh, put it on there. Mm -hmm. You're getting to think that this piece is too inexpensive. It's a mere bagatelle. Mere bagatelle, sure. And how much was it? 700. What, this piece? This piece is 25 The piece you just took off the pedestal. Oops. That is really, really, that's stunning. That's gorgeous. That's incredible. And the banana from Pansias just really sets it off. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. Now. One more piece. La dernière. Lisette Savaria. Lisette Savaria. Yeah, Lisette's a lot of fun. Haven't seen her in... Ten years? Ten years. Gotta remember the last time we had to ship something back to her. We managed it. Because I, I kept the original packaging. Oh yeah, that was clever of you. So I'm guessing this is number three. <laughs> Verre de glace, porcelain. Verre de glace, what that, 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 Do you know, she's got, there's so much damn tape on it, and because this... We have a knife there for that reason. I know, but I, I'm i a little... Uh, can you come and hold this, Nancy, please? Just watch your fingers. Yeah. Well, then we go into our, our, our medical version. Where the heck's the tape? There's tape here. There we go. Okay. Tape there. Okay. So this one is 1600. Ah, shit! We are going into medical version now. Just don't touch the porcelain with it. No, I, I'm not bleeding, I'm just, I'm just... That is... Wow. Oh, this is lovely. Wow. What the hell? Um, what's in there? What, is it? <laughs> what does it say for number three? <clears throat> Since your French is better than most. There, ice glass to make. I think it's an ice cream maker. Oh, oh it's got a little LED. That's just. Uh... Oh. Brian knows all these high tech things. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, and then it'll shine through the stained glass. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> what? Steven. Is Steven watching? Yeah, Brian told you to watch your finger. <laughs> that is so... I love that. Sean should, and Peter should see that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that they... Yeah. Anyway, we've, this anyway, is quite a folks, long video. So that is... Uh, was this a long video? Yeah. Oh, God, it's time for pizza. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Steven, are you coming down for pizza? You're Steven, yes. My Steven coming down for pizza? I don't know. Ask him. That's what I just did. What did he say? He hasn't said anything. He can text you. Okay, bye. Can text bye. <laughs>